Welcome to Me and You Acres. My name is Angie, in case you're new here. Our channel is kind of in the process of in-between right now. So we're currently building a homestead, but during the winter, we are living in the barn inside a trailer with goats, dogs, cats, and slowly going insane, but that's okay. One thing I used to do was do a lot of things um, from scratch and make a lot of things from scratch. And I haven't done that pretty much a lot or at all since we've moved into the trailer. All of my equipment and everything is packed away. I have this bowl here. This bowls are popcorn bowl, mixing bowl, cereal bowl, you name it. We just have what we need while we're in the trailer. I came across a recipe and it was five ingredients, something I have all of the ingredients for, and it's called avocado bread. It looks delicious and I can't wait to try it. I love avocados and if it is a good bread, then it's something you can use your avocados for. Also, side note, did you know that you can freeze your avocados until you're ready to use them? Pull them out of the freezer about an hour before you wanna use them and they are workable. You don't wanna leave them out on the counter after you've frozen them because they will go brown fairly quickly, uh, like the same day. So I typically use mine within an hour of taking it out of the freezer. For example, this was in the freezer for about a month, so. So let's get to mashing two large avocados. Uh, I didn't have two large, but I do have two small. two cups of flour and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Whew. Since my big bowl, uh, typically you pour this into the wet, but I'm going to have to pour the wet into this because it's the biggest bowl I have right now. parchment paper and I'm going to line my cast iron because again that's all I have usually you would put this in a like a bread loaf but this is what I got so I'm gonna see it's a very thick mixture for sure I don't know if I have enough liquid but we will see I mean, I don't know, it does seem a little bit thick to me, but I'm gonna pop it in the oven. You cook it for 45 to 50 minutes at 350. This is in a cast iron, so I'm gonna lower the temperature just a little bit, and we'll see you back in almost an hour. Okay, so it has been about 45, 50 minutes, and we're just going to, I just opened the oven door and it looks like everything is ready. So let's pull it out and see what it looks like. I mean, it looks pretty good. All right. 
Let's cut into this bad boy. And I'm assuming you eat it like a banana bread. together nice probably look at that let's throw some butter on it and give it a try all right here we go it smells different um it has the same kind of texture as a thick banana bread so i don't know if i didn't have enough moisture in it i went back and looked where i found it and it did look like thick batter so anyways let's give us a try It's different. It's not bad. It is good. It's just not very sweet, which is good because I'm eating a lot better these days. Not extremely sweet. Very low ingredients. It holds together like really, really nice, you know. And it's green, which is kind of neat. I'm actually kind of like baffled by it because you have five ingredients, but let's see what Mike thinks. I'm hesitant. It's green. <laughs> All right, well. Like green eggs and ham, but it's, it's green bread. Oh, I burnt my finger oh, okay. pulling out the cast iron pan. So I hope you... It will be delicious. <clears throat> it's not as sweet. I'm preparing you now. It is good. I think raisins or something like that, maybe even some nuts would be good. Do you want to try it? Go ahead. Is it time? It's time. What now? Now. <laughs> mm, it's not bad though. No, but it needs that extra, you know what I mean? Like I think nuts or raisins... Mm, I mean, mean, for healthy, it, it is good though. Yeah, it's just not like what like a zucchini sweet or a banana sweet, um, but it's good for. I think I'm gonna have it for breakfast. Mm -hmm. That would be good, I think, for breakfast with some fruit or something. I mean, all it is is a little bit of sugar, um, which you can replace the eggs too. I think with applesauce, so that might even make it more sweet if you get sweetened applesauce. I mean, he's still eating it, and he's not like, too... <laughs> so it must be edible. It is very I think, edible. Yeah, it is. It's pretty good. Again, I like a sweeter when I eat like breads like this. I like a sweeter bread. So mm -hmm. I think with raisins, I've said that twenty times now, but yeah. You know what I think would go really good in it? <laughs> what? Raisins. Raisins. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. And as always, take care. And God bless.